aside from the music is um, how to just be professional in general. So a lot of that is networking, right? And so we met you two years ago in Las Cruces. We really got to know you this past conference. And um, you know, we hope that we can continue our, our um, professional and personal relationship. Alisa Bustillo! El tequila, el María Jesús bailable, cantando en un extranjero, baila en tu estereo. Elevo mi voz al cielo, elevo mi voz al cielo. Como en México nuevo. Jalisco, ay mi Jalisco. Tira el aire tan hermosa, nunca te podré olvidar. Jalisco, ay mi Jalisco. I'm senior in the program. My responsibility is making sure that all the offices are doing their job and that in class, uh, whenever Mr. Enriquez is busy, it's usually my job to lead rehearsals and um, condo condone what he would be doing. Traveling as a group uh, means we spend more time with each other and ultimately that leads to us bonding more and usually we come back just like laughing with like weeks of memories and it's a lot of fun. It brings us all together closer and usually it just makes us better off for the whole year because we're all friendly and trips. Like when we went to Las Cabezas we had a lot of fun. We come back and, and we're closer together and it makes us a better ensemble. When you get ready to have uh, training with Cobre, what does that mean to you? Well, it means that I need to be like, on my best game, I need to put a good impression, and I need to make sure I have my stuff down. Especially with, when they're giving us the workshops, we need to comprehend what they're telling us and apply it. I started an orchestra originally, so that uh, prompted me that I had to learn to read music. It's a really useful tool, especially under high tensions when you need to learn a song two days before a concert and the music's there, you have to read it and you have to use it, you have to understand it and you have to uh, interpret it. Advice to young students thinking about joining a mariachi program in their schools or maybe even starting one. It's a lot of fun, it's hard work, um, but if you have the motivation, I feel like you can do it and it's a lot of fun to perform and play for your families, serenade people. It's a lot of fun, I would really recommend it. Any closing comment, either about this, uh, you're doing a fundraiser tonight, any closing comment, performing with Elisa? Uh, I just hope we go out there, put on a good show, and have some more memories, and hopefully give Elisa the best show that she can have possible.
a senior at Tucson High and I've been in the mariachi program for all my four years. I can say that I rehearse almost every day. I try to every day. If I don't, then I don't. Like, it feels weird playing again if I don't play. Especially because I play the trumpet. If I don't, like, if I give myself one day without playing, it, it feels really weird playing the next day. But I usually try every day. Please help me welcome Mariachi Rayos del Sol! Me quieres hablar, mejor me voy a esta tierra. Vestir el traje de charro y entregarles mi canto, el estilo mexicano. Esta tierra de Jalisco tiene pueblos tan hermosos. Arranca de Totonilco, de Guadalita y Mazamita. Qué bonito está Mazula, bonito este Patigua. Pero el pueblo más hermoso, pero el pueblo más hermoso. Rehearsal is important to put things together and make sure everything is right and ready for our singer like Elisa that we have today. Um, it's very important because I feel like we can all hear each other better and rehearsing is more performing and it's a good practice for when we're on stage. Um, when Mr. Enriquez like, has us rehearsing, he wants us to rehearse the way that we're going to perform. So um, he really emphasizes showmanship and playing like you have an audience in front of you. I started in first grade at Davis Elementary School here in Tucson. I was in Mariachi Aguilitas um, until fifth grade until I went to middle school. And um, yeah, that's where I first learned to play violin and guitar. Yeah, um, me and the Bay actually have been friends since... Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we both were in Aguilitas together. I know, the friendship is so important, especially supporting each other. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the most difficult thing to learn about being a mariachi? Yeah. You have to be dedicated. And to, there are other things, but if you're serious about mariachi and you want to get better, you need to be dedicated to it. I think dedication and also um, like remembering where the music came from. Because we always talk about how you know, the maestros of like our generations in the past, that they're really, you know, they're getting older and the knowledge that they pass down to like their um, like prodigy sort of, um, now it's up to them to teach us. And even those maestros are getting older. Like, you know, he's trying his best to teach us that you need to go back to like where it all started because sometimes it gets too modern and it gets too like bedazzled and too much. Um, so he wants to get back to like the original, like what Mariachi started off as. Conferences are so exciting to go to no matter where they are. Here at the Tucson Conference, the Escalusas Conference, everywhere. They're just all excited and you know you're going to learn something new and anywhere you go. And it's just always exciting to perform in front of people that you've never seen before, like in another state. But just to really showcase like, you know, Tucson's where Mariachi. Yeah, exa yeah, exactly. Like where we're from, Tucson. Um, even when we went to Las Cruces, like we were able to learn from uh, Mariachi Aslan over there. And no, they taught us so much, and I think that it's really just about learning and like collaborative work. Because if we don't sh share with each other, we won't be able to grow. Mariachi Rayos del Sol, where we're always put to work, and we're always here for the community and for other people. Mm -hmm. And um, I really think that Miss Enriquez has worked really hard to get the program where it is, um, and so that the future generations, like not even after us, but like maybe in ten years, um, twenty, that they're still able to enjoy mariachi and know where mariachi came from and continue to share the, the beauty with the community. <laughs>
Yes, <laughs> 